What is going on everybody? So you can obviously see why I'm very excited today. This is the 2020 Acura NSX. And this car has had a ton of updates for 2019, obviously going over into 2020. And I've actually never reviewed the NSX. This is my first time driving it. And I'm super excited to bring you guys my impressions. We're gonna have a thorough in-depth review like you've never seen the NSX before. So be sure to stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, let's take a super close up look at the 2020 Acura NSX. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into the price. This thing's $157,000. Now that's a lot of money, but this is still a couple thousand cheaper than like an R8 V10 911 Turbo S. The old one, I'm sure the new one will still be even more expensive. And then the McLaren 570S. Those are probably the main competitors for this car but this offers such a different experience compared to those vehicles. And obviously we'll go over that as we go throughout the review. Now, the one thing I do wanna talk about is the old NSX very briefly, because I think a lot of people when this came out forgot what the old NSX was. It was the most technologically advanced vehicle of its time. Now, technology was way different back then. So its advancements were things like the most advanced traction control, the braking system, the engine was one of the best that Honda slash Acura had to offer, the transmission, the manual transmission, and the four-speed automatic, which yes, it did come in an automatic. All of that was the best that they had to offer and the best road technology that was available at the time without paying millions of dollars. This is the same recipe biggest difference being technology has changed a ton in those years now let's go ahead and look at the front i love the fact that it has this like ninja with a mask on kind of look it's absolutely incredible and new for 2019 obviously continuing into 2020 is a body colored beak as opposed to the silver one obviously functional venting down here you have this carbon fiber lip right down there now you have dual LED lights on here, which look absolutely amazing. When you see this thing rolling down the road, not only does it just look good in general, but the lights add this really exotic, crazy look to it. And it's just a beautiful, elegant looking supercar. Now, as we move up, you have these nostrils, which are going to get to the air, get the heat out of this area. You still have to cool the electric motors located under here. You have one electric motor on each wheel. And obviously that air is going to flow, boom, down into those side vents. Now, as we move along to the wheels, these are gonna have 19 inch wheels. Now, the biggest difference is that Honda did make a change to the compound. They're still Continental tires, are just a different version of the previous ones, which a lot of people complained about. Honda, or Acura said they did fix um, the aggressiveness of these tires without having to go to those Trofeo R's. So they're a lot grippier while still giving you an everyday comfort. Now these are 245 35s in the front, 305 30s in the rear. You have carbon ceramic brakes and then you have regenerative braking on here because this is a hybrid. Now moving to this vent, this is basically going to help remove air out of the wheel well, lessen that turbulence, and then once again, pushing it right back into this vent back here, which you guys can see, you have this cool flying buttress effect and it's really nice obviously not as aggressive as like a ford gt but still pretty cool now as we move to the hood you have a six thousand dollar option on here which is a carbon fiber roof i said hood but i meant roof yeah carbon fiber roof six grand only saves one pound of weight and i think that's the craziest option i can get liposuction for less than that and lose more weight it's pretty insane now as we move back to this quarter panel view this is my favorite angle this is where it looks the most aggressive to me this is where it looks the most exotic to me now you are going to have this carbon fiber spoiler right back here looks really good it is going to double um well it's going to double as a spoiler that's kind of needless to say and then you have your rear lights which are going to be full led obviously on a car like this they look very tron like and i just love the futuristic look of the tail lights i also love the simplicity of the back um, I think it looks really nice. Now, as we move down, you've got more functional openings right down here, functional venting. You're gonna have your quad exhaust located right underneath there. Pretty aggressive diffuser going on here. But let's go ahead and listen to that exhaust note.
All right, so here's your key for the NSX. Now, unfortunately, you don't get this super awesome, unique key. It's the same key you would get on almost any other Acura Honda product, uh, but it is gonna say NSX there at the bottom to let you know that you have something different. Uh, but your lock, your unlock, your trunk release, your panic, you flip this to pull out a physical key to get in if this battery dies or if this battery dies, and then obviously your Acura symbol there in the back. Now, when you walk up to the door, this is gonna sense the key and the door handles are actually going to pop out for you and that is gonna let you know that it's unlocked. Whenever it's flush like this, that's gonna let you know that the door is locked and then you just simply pull the handle to unlock it. Okay, getting inside of the NSX. Now this one has the saddle brown interior and man, does it look really good. Here's a better look at it for you guys. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful interior. Uh, now coming to the door, you have a good use of materials, all leather, Alcantara located right here with some stitching soft area to place your arm saddle brown right there area to put your phone I can also use that as a grab handle if I wanted to uh, window controls door locks mirror controls grab handle here you're going to have two memory seat settings I like this gloss black where uh, the door handle is going to nicely just fade into the whole thing it looks really cool and I just love this design right here. I think that's a really nice design on the door. Speaker up here for your ELS sound system. Aluminum pedals, NSX branded mats. You're going to have an aluminum trim on the left side of the vent there. This little honeycomb pattern underneath the vent. More Alcantara, traction control, parking sensors. Then as you move to the seats, you have very minimal controls. You can't go up and down, unfortunately, so you cannot adjust height on here. But the seats themselves look incredible they're so beautiful it has alcantara in the middle and that's supposed to hold you in place whenever you're cornering it's just a grippier material but let's go ahead and hop in and we'll check out the rest okay shutting the door on the nsx i mean really solid shut but you would expect nothing less in your two hundred thousand dollar supercar now because it is close quarters in here here's a wider look at the interior you guys can see it's a really simplistic interior but once you're in here you have a lot of with i don't feel claustrophobic in here at all now to start very simple there's your start stop button foot on the brake and you're gonna hit that to start nice and that's pretty much it now you can start it up quietly if you choose to all you would have to do is hit this twice turn on your accessory power and then switch your dial into quiet See, guys, in here it's a much quieter startup if you don't want to wake up your neighbors, family, anything like that. But starting at the steering wheel, I love this steering wheel design. Uh, matte carbon fiber here, really cool feeling, nice leather. This has what's called inside stitching, so it is stitched, but you can't see the stitching, so it's, it's hidden. I don't know how they did that, but it's a pretty interesting thing right there. Then behind the steering wheel, I don't know if you guys can see this. You see that there? That is what Acura calls finger holds. And it's this piece that sticks out of the steering wheel and you can grip it really well. I'll talk more about that whenever we go for a drive, but that's really cool. Uh, more carbon fiber here, volume controls, media controls, over here, cruise control. This is to adjust your screen right here. So I can scroll through, see different things. I kid you not, you guys, I this is the last thing I'm filming in this review. I've already done the drive portion and this is my MPG driving this thing hard it's absolutely insane and then as you go through the modes it is going to change the look right there hold it over to the right to go into track and it's automatically going to turn off traction control blinks out this screen right here now paddle shifters nine speed auto paddles right here they do feel a little cheap so that's a huge knock for me right back here you have your wipers over here to the left, blinker, automatic lights. As you come up, you have carbon fiber here on the dash. Not sure if it's real, because it doesn't feel 
very uh, high quality, if I'm being honest. Thick leather here. You guys can see just how thick it is. Huge slabs of leather. Speaker up there for your ELS sound system. More authentic aluminum trim coming right here, which looks incredible. More of that super thick leather. Then as you come to the screen, it's Honda Acura's screen. It's pretty simplistic. I don't think it's a good system at all. But the saving grace is that this has Apple CarPlay. So plug in Apple CarPlay, you're good to go, and you never have to worry about this setup. So climate, you're going to push that to adjust your fan speed. Temp, you can adjust right here. You do have dual zone climate control. This is your drive mode selector. It's a little plasticky, but I mean, I don't mind it too much. It hasn't really been a bothersome thing for me. The only thing bothersome in here for me was definitely these cheap feeling paddles. Heated seats, three settings, no cooled seats though. Push button shifter, reverse. Backup camera is gonna come up. You have different views. And then when you do put this in reverse, this does have that crazy uh, electric car sound because you can't hear it and it is required for this year model and you guys can hear that right now. Coming back, neutral, drive, hit it again to put you into manual mode. More Alcantara here. It is gonna say NSX here, and I think that's just really cool detail. It's just nicely embedded into that. An area to put like a phone. So here's my tiny phone fitting in there. Tons of leather here. You have a good amount of storage space back here. You have this like lift up area, which is going to have your USB back in there. Here are your cup holders. Now the cup holders do pop in and out. So you would have to get, get your cup holder, stick it in this little slot on the side, and then that's how you would make that work basically. You also have a 12 volt that's secretly hidden right next to the cup holders, and I did not find that literally until filming this portion of the review. Coming up, you have an auto dimming mirror. Uh, you don't have home link up here because it is going to be located right up here. LED lights, vanity mirrors, but you don't have a mirror. So you guys can see here, no mirror. Hopefully you can see nothing so you cannot check how good you look inside of your nsx and then last but not least you do have an alcantara lined headliner so that's pretty much gonna be it for the front let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car all right so coming to the back of the nsx now when i did the walk around there were a few things that i missed that i really want to tell you guys about so you obviously are going to have an extra vent here i did not mention that but the cool part is once the air goes in here and the air that's gonna go in that side intake is actually gonna come out through a hidden vent located right here. So I think that was a really awesome engineering design there. And the exhaust does have different sounds, but un unlike other vehicles which have flaps, this has silencers like you would get on like a pistol. It's so crazy. So it's gonna pass those exhaust gases through the silencers when you're in quiet mode when you're in sport mode, it passes some of the exact exhaust gases through there. And then once you're in track mode, it completely bypasses the silencers completely. So I thought that was a pretty cool design trick. And then to open, there's gonna be a button here. You can open it from the inside or you can use your key. So we're gonna use this little button. You just open it right up. And you can obviously see your engine right here. You do have the extra carbon fiber option, which looks really good. I mean, carbon fiber always looks good on any car so that's a given that most people are probably gonna opt for this option now let's talk about the engine so this is going to have a twin turbocharged v6 on top of that right here you're going to have your nine speed dual clutch and then sandwiched in between those two you have your direct drive gear and that is going to be for the electric motors provide that instantaneous torque whenever you're shifting gear so it makes your gear shifts basically instantaneous in combination with the dual clutch transmission. Now, storage space back here is pretty okay. You guys can see the cubic feet if you wanna know that. Um, it's big enough to fit one suitcase with two people's things packed in there, but uh, there's really not a ton of room here at all. So I would suggest putting as much luggage in here as you can and then sending the rest ahead to wherever you're going. Okay, so in terms of horsepower, you're gonna have 573 horsepower, 476 pound-feet of torque. Now, the engineers did update uh, the drive system on here. So because of that update, 
you are now doing zero to 60 in 2.7 seconds as opposed to the three seconds when this car first came out. So that is a plus. You also have updated suspension, front rear stabilizer bars have been beefed up, and a lot of suspension components that make this drive a lot better than it did previously. So I know that's a lot, but that's pretty much gonna be it for under here. Let's go ahead and see what's under the hood. Okay, so under the hood of the NSX, you have a lot of cool stuff under here. One thing you're not gonna find is space. So a lot of the competitors do have space under here, but because you have so much going on here, there just wasn't enough room. So once the air hits the front of this car, that's going to then go in here, cool off things like the brakes. Uh, it has 10 heat exchangers in here, and it's gonna cool off those two electric motors. So you can actually see all the inner workings of that going on. And if you're into stuff like that, it's a really awesome sight to see, um, especially if you just wanna gaze upon the future and the next generation of engineering. It's pretty cool. Uh, but either way, that's pretty much all that's gonna be underneath here. Let's go ahead and get this on the road and see how it does. All right, you guys, so here's how this is going to work. Um, we're gonna launch this thing real quick and see how that 2.70 to 60 feels. I have not launched this yet, so I wanted to save that for you guys. Then I'm gonna take it through or take a highway through some canyons, and then finally, I'm gonna drive it just normally. And be sure to stay tuned for the normal part because that is what makes this car so different than everything else. It's, it's crazy. But uh, let's go ahead and launch this. Make sure you're in track mode, turn it to sport, hold it to the right for a few seconds. It'll go into track, it'll beep. Now you can go into drive or manual. I suggest going into normal drive so that way it'll shift for you. You don't have to focus on shifting. And then at that point, you just floor the brake, floor the accelerator. It's gonna build up to 2000 and here we go. Oh shoot, oh my gosh, jeez Louise. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it literally feels like this is about to pop a wheelie. That's insane. Whew. Yeah, yeah, that felt every bit as fast as 2.7. If anything, it felt faster, geez. All right, everyone, so we saw that this is blisteringly fast in a straight line. Uh, we knew this, and obviously with the changes they made in 2019, following into the 2020 year model, that meant a zero to 60 of 2.7 now. Uh, I am out here on Ortega Highway. Whew. And we're gonna go downhill and see how this does on Ortega. Now, I have it in his track setting, full manual. And one thing I didn't know is you can hear the waste gates on this thing. Oh, 
this this is insane Ooh. man I have goosebumps right now oh my gosh I don't know if you guys can see it <laughs> I don't know why this supercar is not hyped up more because it deserves it so much now I've driven McLaren uh, I've driven three different McLaren so I do have a good basis of foundation what a really good supercar is supposed to feel like I've driven the 720s I've driven the 570s and the 600 LT I have reviews of all three of those vehicles the biggest difference is this just feels more approachable with those cars you just know that they have extremely high limits but you're kind of scared to approach them on a public road with this obviously having all-wheel drive that helps but it almost it's almost like it's helping you and like secretly putting into your mind what needs to happen you need a brake now you need a turn now you need to get on the accelerator now and it is seriously the way it changes direction is absolutely insanity Ooh, and these brakes are so good man all right everyone so here's the one thing about the NSX that really separates it now the only other car I believe that comes close to this would be a 911 turbo s only because that car is well known for being so versatile in terms of comfortable relaxed everyday driver and then absolute machine this is the same thing but in a way it's a little more intense now when you do the launch control and everything on top of having the engine providing all of that power you have the instant torque hit of the electric motors that's something even the newest 911 doesn't have uh, and that that really hits a lot differently it feels a lot different and it pushes you back in your seat in such a dramatic fashion. Uh, and on top of that, you can run this in quiet mode, which I'm in right now. So if I were to slow down just a bit, you guys can hear, it's really quiet. So once again, sound is going through those silencers. You can barely hear anything. You wouldn't even know there's an engine behind you. And so if I were to pull over to this little area right here, just slow down a bit. It just threw itself into EV mode, at which point it's so quiet. And the fact that I can cruise around right now going 40 miles an hour in EV mode is just insane. I have Apple CarPlay up, I'm comfortable, I've got a lot of room width-wise, my wife is with me, I don't feel bad that she's getting beat up in the passenger seat by the rough suspension. It's just a comfortable place to be for a supercar. And I think that's really what makes it such a crazy experience. And then at any given moment, I can boom, sport, Boom, Sport Plus, hit a couple gears. And then it's just a completely different animal. You have wastegate noises, you have turbo spooling up. Um, you've got this just intoxicating induction noise going from the engine. And then I can have as much fun as I want. And then immediately go into quiet and it's like nothing ever happened it's so crazy guys so crazy well everyone I seriously hope you enjoyed this thorough review over the Acura NSX um, this car for me honestly I had mixed feelings about it I thought it was a cool car but I don't think it was ever something I would have chosen over like a McLaren or a 911 Turbo S um, but after driving it I mean, this thing is so impressive, especially with the updates they did for 2019, 2020. This thing drives well, and it's one of the most versatile supercars I've been in. Now, next to something like a 911 Turbo, this driving in the EV mode makes it even quieter, even more comfortable. The MPG is surprisingly awesome in this thing, um, and it just has such a unique feel to it. Everything about it is the best Honda and Acura has to offer. So if you are a fan 
of Honda Acura products. This is the epitome of their engineering and it's absolutely amazing. Let me know what you guys think about the NSX. Would you get it over a 911 Turbo S? Would you get it over a McLaren? Would you get it over a Lamborghini? Would you get it over any of the competition? If so, let me know why. And if you're new to the channel, I'd love to have you guys subscribe. Hit the bell so you never miss an upload. Be sure to like this video, it helps me a lot and I'll see you guys in the next review.